Synth France 2023. I'm here on the booth of BVR Instruments from France. I'm here with Bruno. Yes. How are you? Hi, Tom. How are you? Um, well, fine. And you have in your portfolio a, um, a module, a sequencer, yes. a MIDI and CV sequencer. Yes, it's a multi-track MIDI sequencer, exactly. Um, it comes with a, a screen. We have the display. I made a stop. Um, so the specifications are the following. You have uh, four sequences. Four sequences, so monophonic. One can be uh, polyphonic with uh, triads, course. And also is you there, have... Is there a, a maximum of polyphony for the uh, sequence? Yes, yes. P polyphony maximal is uh, three chords. Three chords for, three chords. for the chord sequence. Okay. But uh, if you uh, add the, the other sequences, you have a maximum uh, uh, six. Mm -hmm. six. Three plus uh, six. Okay. Plus uh, three. And uh, also we have uh, here um, uh, four tracks, four tracks uh, for the, the triggers, and uh, over four tracks. So finally eight tracks for the triggers. So it's a step, step, uh, step. So you can create an entire track with it. So you have a, you have chords and you have a triggers for the drums. Yes, 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 yes. So um, for the outputs, we can uh, we, we have here uh, all the MIDI. So all the all the parts are uh, output to the MIDI. So all the data you're creating with the sequencer, you can output as a MIDI? Uh, yeah, yes, completely. You can record with uh, a DO after. Uh, so you... And uh, physically, we have uh, triggers. Uh, in, this, uh, in this setup, we have the four, uh, the four tracks with the triggers that uh, play this uh, bass drum. It's uh, my uh, second module, the bass drum, fully analogic. And also the, the, the samples with the beatbox. Uh, so we have uh, the four tracks uh, playing the drums. And uh, we have, like I said, all in the MIDI. And eventually, you can uh, connect to the CV gates for the sequence one and sequence two. If you, if you want uh, the full, the full uh, outputs, there is a new module. <coughs> there is a, a new module, the, the expansion, mm -hmm. expansion module, that adds the the CV gates on the triggers. Okay. And this one is also new, I think, because I didn't see it yet. The module is also a new one. Uh, the yeah, 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 very, very new one. I uh, have uh, to 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 start and finish the the firmware. Okay. But uh, it's more or less the the same uh, internal. Uh, the, the same internal uh, part. Okay, and uh, the sequence also has some more unique, uh, say, more creative features like probability and so on. Uh, for, for this one? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, for example, uh, I, I show you, so the interface, uh, user interface is now more friendly. Uh, you can uh, select the steps. And you see that uh, there is uh, many icons, mm -hmm. icons with uh, explanation of what uh, you, will, you can choose. So for example, you have ratchets. You can play uh, steps for uh, each eight bar, mm -hmm. uh, each four bars. Uh, you have a chance. So uh, uh, random possibilities, uh, rat ratchet chains. Mm -hmm. uh, you can play seven times on eight. And uh, you have also the, the velocity. There's also a song mode inside, uh, a, a mode for creating your patterns. To, uh, we oh, can yes, 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 yes. Uh, there is uh, creative, uh, creative functions. So um, you have also the randomize. Mm -hmm. So you can completely start from zero if you have uh, no ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, I show you. Uh, so, uh, in this case, we are going to, 
to randomize only the degree. Because the nuts are uh, like this, you have uh, the velocity, the degrees, the length and the octave. And here we are going to, to modify the 16 uh, steps, 16 nuts. So I, I put yes, and you see that uh, it changed and it creates random, random uh, nuts. You have uh, visually uh, the, the visual of the... Um, visual feedback of the... Yeah, game. yeah, feedback, feedback. So it, it's fun because uh, um, my random routine is also very um, musical. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, completely random. Uh, uh, it's random, but with uh, musical, uh, musical skills. Mm -hmm. And you can say you can st uh, store your yeah, pattern inside. Yes, yes. So you can store. You have uh, shortcuts, for uh, for example, like this. And uh, you can enter the menu. You have the save, the save uh, page. So you can save pattern settings, all data. Before we switch off, for example. So uh, for uh, to. For example, to, to create uh, from scratch, uh, you push. Uh, this is one way to, to create a, a new nut. But you have shortcuts. It's a, a pencil mode. I, I call this a pencil mode because it's like uh, if you write with a paper on the sheet. Um, so you, you put the shift plus select, and on the right, you, you add notes, and now you can remove. So you have many shortcuts to add uh, your creativity, to help you to, to be uh, more quick, to, to create. Uh, so you, you can uh, copy, you can move. Uh, and you can create and songs and... Uh, yes, and completely. How many can you save in the, in the unit? Uh, yes, uh, you have uh, 90, 99 uh, slots. Mm -hmm. So for the... So you have a separate memory for the triggers, separate for the notes, and also for chords. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have uh, many, many... Um, uh, many permanent memory for all the okay. all the creation. So we can uh, maybe uh, start uh, for the demo. Uh, what I wanted to, to explain uh, also is uh, I have now um, a control surface to, 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 for example, to make the mutes or uh, to start the sequencer. It's an uh, an application, uh, a third-party application, and uh, you can um, uh, customize everything. Okay. So it's in pure data. And it's connected directly to MIDI. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You see, it's uh, USB to MIDI, and uh, the MIDI input is here. So there is uh, many controls internally that uh, receive uh, the MIDI on uh, the play. Uh, so, for example, we can start but we don't have the sound. It's normal because we have all... all it's the same for uh, the triggers, for the drums. So we can, uh, we can make the mute with the uh, interface, but it's uh, more uh, practical. Better for visual feedback. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you are uh, in live condition, so here, uh, for example, I have uh, the sequence two that uh, is a map to the another mi blip. So we can play. We can play the bass. Um, the speciality here is uh, that we have uh, a compressor, 
compressor inside. So it's an optical compressor. So it's based, it's based on a Vactual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vactual technology. It's a recreation of Vactual because it's not original Vactual. But it's optical. Like uh, old vintage compressor. So you have the, the side chain effect, but you have uh, with uh, normally uh, a compressor. On the, if you go to uh, to, uh, to the side chain uh, input. We have uh, the, two, the two synthesizers playing uh, together. Sometimes it doesn't match uh, musically because uh, we have made uh, some modification on the notes. So if you, if you want uh, to, to adjust this one, you can make a solo. So we see that we are in solo mode. And uh, now, normally, We have uh, also the possibility to, to control the kick with a uh, pedal, foot switch. So this is a, a setup, minimal but uh, with maximal possibilities. And your uh, TS1 is already available on the market? Yeah, 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 it's available on uh, my website. I do not have uh, many uh, resellers. So if a uh, reseller wants to have a TS1, they are uh, welcome. <laughs> and uh, the bass drum, how far is the yeah, development? The uh, bass drum will have to just a uh, fine tuning um, operation. So it will take uh, maybe two, two or four weeks and uh, it's ready because uh, it, it, works, it works well with the first version. And uh, the expander? The, 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 exam, the expander for the, the model? Ah yes, the expander. Uh, the expander will come uh, maybe, uh, maybe two months, two months. Okay. Because I have to, to, to make the, the firmware so the firmware is uh, more or less the same, but uh, there is modification. And what price point we are talking about the TS1? Uh, the price is uh, less than uh, 300 euros, just a limit, just a little bit more, a little bit less. The bass drum is uh, 259, so I want to to be uh, very uh, guide with the price. And uh, this one will be at uh, 157. Okay. So. Okay. Thank you, Bruno. Thank you. I hope you, uh, we hope you enjoy the last day of Synthfest uh, France. Yes. And hope to see then very soon on an, in the next uh, Synthfest or Super Bowl yeah, and so on. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Big thanks. Thank you. And hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you, Tom. Bye.